Hello everyone and welcome to Service Now Guy. I am Gunjan Kiratkar and you might already know that we have started vendor management playlist on this uh, YouTube channel and the first part is already live and in that part we have already discussed about the introduction, plugins and installation, vendor workspace overview. Now the very much important part regarding this playlist is the vendor score and its KPI. How exactly the vendor, uh, how exactly we can configure the uh, vendor score then the KPI configurations, then the important schedule jobs and then we will see the live demo uh, by submitting one survey as well how exactly we can calculate the vendor score so uh, please don't skip this video and don't miss this uh, part second because this is a very much important part in this playlist to understand the vendor score calculation so let's now move ahead into the instance and we will first of all go to the workspace let me type vendor and then workspace now we can see that the vendor management workspace is loaded and you can see that there are uh, not having any uh, kind of kpi groups present then the uh, the performance score and the vendor satisfaction by the vendor all everything is empty so we will first check about if there is any vendor associated with my name as the manager so we can see that there is uh, not having any vendor uh, with i am as a manager so first of all i will go to the my vendors from here and let me assign this adobe system as manager it's my name as the manager so i am the system administrator and and i am assigning my name as the vendor manager for this and i'm just saving it now let's come to the workspace and just refresh it and then we can see that adobe system is present here and the vendor score is empty if we open this then as well vendor score and its uh, vendor score kpi is also empty and uh, on the home page as well we can see everything is empty we can see just the one organization name just one where vendor name because i am the only uh, manager of this adobe system and the vendor by kpi is also empty so now we will create one kpi for it for that just type here as a vendor scroll down and then you can see here as a kpi groups under configuration just open it and now uh, we will create here now uh, new kpi and we will calculate the vendor score on the basis of the uh, vendor satisfaction survey that assessment so we'll give the name as a vendor satisfaction saving it then we can open this and then we can add here kpi so on what basis we need to calculate the vendor score so we can add here as many as kpi as we want and we can assign the weight accordingly so currently i am here assigning only one kpi in order to calculate the vendor score and that is this vendor satisfaction so actually what exactly this kpi means this kpi is nothing but the indicator which is created in the performance analytics so if you have a better understanding of the performance analytics and its indicators then you will easily get this uh, uh, how exactly we can calculate the vendor score using this kpi so now i just select this vendor satisfaction as the kpi and i'm submitting it now you can see that there is one uh, field as the weight and currently it is zero so suppose if we assign the weight as the zero then this uh, kpi is acts as an additional kpi it will not contribute into the vendor score calculation but i want this kpi to contribute into the vendor score calculation so i am assigning this weight as the 100 so now uh, whatever vendor score is getting calculated it will uh, miss this particular vendor satisfaction uh, indicator has having its 100 percent weight so if you wanted to understand how exactly we can assign the multiple weights for this kpi then you can go to the kpi groups and i will open one out of the box from here as the it services 
and you can see that this vendor satisfaction is having 25% weight average SLA achievement is having 25% weight and completely combinedly it is having the 100% and these two are having 0 0 that means the average request re average request activity and total incident created these two are the additional KPI which are not contributing into the vendor score calculation but these four are contributing into the vendor score calculation and they are having the equal uh, weight to calculate the vendor score so that is how we can contribute the multiple indicators as well as we can contribute only the one indicator here in this way so now let's come to the this part and now we will have to select the vendor as well uh, because we need to assign this kpi group to the vendors so we can select the vendors from here there is a related list and now i want to select the adobe system because i am the manager of this uh, vendor and i am saving it you can assign the other vendors as well from this list as many as vendor you want to assign for this kpi group you can assign it and then once you save that then you can see that adobe system is available here then the kpi group is this so now let's go to the assessment part because our vendor score is getting calculated on the basis of the vendor satisfaction assessment so we will open this types and we can see that there is one uh, assessment as the vendor satisfaction assessment you just have to open it we are just showing the demo because of that i am uh, making this assessment as a on demand and i am applying the filter on the uh, for only for that adobe system and not for the all vendors so i am changing here condition and making the condition as and name each adobe system let me confirm the name adobe systems okay now we can save this record so that it will only fetch one vendor it will create only one assessment for only one vendor and not for all vendors okay let me delete this because i have already created uh, this assessment for one vendor which has a name as the sr but i have deleted that and because of that it is showing empty here so i am just de deleting this record from here okay now we can see that only adobe system is present in the accessible record so now we will assign this assessment to the system administrator and then we can submit it but before submitting that uh, assessment we just need to go to this uh, workspace and if we refresh this workspace then you can see that vendor by kpi group is having the values so i'm just refreshing this and you can see that it, it is showing number as a one and uh, the kpi group name as a vendor satisfaction which we, uh, we have already given here as a vendor satisfaction if you click on this it will open up that record for which vendor we are assigning what exactly the uh, kpi groups and then now we have already assigned that particular assessment to system administrator so now i am going to i will uh, submit that assessment and we will check how exactly we can calculate the vendor score assessment so i am going to my assessment and service and you can see that the vendor satisfaction assessment is already present here we can open it and i will give the values as very satisfied and last one is satisfied and then i am submitting it now each and every smiley is having particular value and i will show that after uh, vendor score is getting calculated now let me come back here to this kpi we will open this kpi from here 
from which table exactly uh, they are fetching the records we can see that so they are fetching the records from this table actually this is not the uh, table in the service now but it is the database view created from the three tables combining three tables so we can open this table from here if we open this then you can see that the first record is getting created with the normalized value as 95.85 that means whatever uh, the uh, survey we have submitted we are giving the uh, very satisfy for the four values and uh, one is only satisfy and because of that it is not a hundred percent but it, it is a 95.85 percent let me show you that at his, uh, assessment values so that you will get clear cut understanding of that we can open this metric categories from here And it is having total six questions and for that six question we are having the values from minimum as a one and maximum as a five so if we uh, select as a very satisfied then it will count that value as a five and as we decreases that uh, smiley then the uh, that then the value for that particular smiley gets also decreases if you select only one 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 then you can see the score will get reduces but if you select only five 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 for everyone then this score will be the hundred percent for that particular vendor okay so from here you can uh, set this minimum and maximum value as well as you can set the weight for each and every question individually so currently we are setting the weight for each and every question as a 10 10 10 and on the basis of this we are getting that uh, particular normalized value into that database view here exactly this normalized value now we will open that particular yeah open this particular indicator which uh, help us to calculate the vendor score and from here if we click on the source then it is it has a fact table as this that uh, category result as a fact table that means it is a database view and from here they are fetching the values from the cat normalized value that means from that particular field value this normalized value and in order to fetch that particular value we will have to run the job for that particular indicator let me open it but before that if you click on this score for this indicator then uh, you can see that where is adobe system okay here it is you can see that for this adobe system there is no as such value present but now we will run the that uh, job for this indicator and then we can fetch that particular normalized value for this indicator now in order to run the job you can see there is one related list for this indicator as the vmw schedule data collection we can open this and the job is basically the periodically but we wanted to fetch the value uh, right now and because of that we are clicking on this button as I execute now click on this button then I am again clicking on this score for this indicator and we will check for the Adobe system yeah and you can see that the score for this Adobe system is getting calculated as 94.85 but if you refresh this particular vendor management workspace then you can't see any score is present here what i mean by you can't see any score is present here for the vendor score vendor score is still empty that means for the vendor score there is dedicated job for it uh, which is created in the schedule job section but if you can if you click on this home button then you can see that the vendor satisfaction by the vendor score is getting calculated this graph is getting display this graph is basically showing the uh, values from that particular indicator on the basis of the assessment and it is uh, differentiating this uh, bar 
on the basis of the vendors so if there are many vendors it will uh, show the different different bars for the different different vendors now we will go to the schedule job which exactly calculate that particular vendor score now i am going to schedule jobs under system definition you can see the schedule jobs just click type the star v m w as a vendor management workspace and you can see that there are many multiple jobs are present you will have to open this update vendor score kpi group and from here you can see that the job runs daily at uh, one in the night but now we wanted to run it as a forcefully so we will click on this execute now button so that it can calculate that vendor score now let's come down to workspace and just refresh this okay and this graph is also getting updated as the, for the adobe system as a 95.85 the vendor score is getting calculated if you click on this list and we can see that the vendor score is also getting updated as a 95.85 if you open it Then you can see that the vendor score is getting updated here as well we can see the value and as well as we can see the vendor score kpis and whatever uh, kpi groups are contributing to this uh, vendor score is uh, getting listed down here if we selected the kpis four or five multiple kpis as uh, as that of the it services then all of that will get displayed here with the weight and with the latest value from that particular indicator and this is how we can uh, actually calculate the vendor score and if we if we are giving any uh, kpi which are having the zero as the weight then that additional kpis will be displayed under this section as the additional kpi at the bottom of this particular uh, page and you can see that as well so this is how we exactly calculate the vendor score and the logic behind the vendor score calculation i hope you find this video as a helpful please like it share with uh, your service now scored as well as uh, thank you so much for watching it